There are a lot of different ways to make selections in Photoshop. I think the request that I get the most is how do I make selections for fine hair and soft edges. It's a really difficult problem, but I want to show you a great solution for you. It's not very intimidating, pretty easy to do actually. The image that we have here is a really problematic file, right? So this is a one megapixel image, pretty low res, and there's a lot of hair and fur. So this should be a nightmare to select the hair from, and I'm going to show you a really quick way to do this. So the first thing we want to do is take our quick select tool. Now, for a lot of these tools, quick selection, magic wand, people get put off by the name. They hear quick and they figure, well, I'm quicker. Uh, if we have auto, they figure I can do it better manually. I'm telling you with quick select, this is the way to go, and I want to explain how it works. So let's take our quick select tool, and using our control and option, or control and alt keys, we can drag left to right to change the diameter of our brush. If I were to use the control and option, or control and alt keys, and drag up and down, I'd change the hardness of the brush. And for this one, we want medium hardness and a brush about that size. Now, we're going to just start clicking and painting on the image here, and we're not going to worry too much about what happens the first time. In fact, at some point, things are going to go all wrong, and the whole image is going to get selected. But that's OK. The idea here is that as I use the Option or Alt key and start telling it which areas of the image I don't want, Photoshop is actually learning more about my selection. So as I come around here, things are starting to look a lot better. Now at this point, I'll take one more look and say shift click to add that area up there. And even though it's not looking perfect, this is good enough for me to move forward. So the next step is I'm going to come up here to Refine Edge. And within Refine Edge, I have a lot of different ways of previewing my selection. For this, we're going to go with black and white so that we can clearly see what's going on here. And I'm going to increase my radius. Let's take it up to Somewhere around 14, 15, 12 and a half will do just fine. You'll know you've hit the sweet spot when on an image like this, you're seeing individual strands of hair. It's obviously doing a great job of isolating the area that you want. Now, if I click Smart Radius, it's going to give me an even better selection. What it's doing is it's sniffing around the edge and coming up with just the right mask. It's looking at the whole thing and figuring out the areas that are detailed and the areas that are softer. Now this next step is really important. Just like Quick Select, we're going to use our Option or Alt key to clean up our mask. So as I drag this around the edge, you'll see that the fidelity is improving. So I'm just telling it, I don't want those areas in. And they're learning. They're removing from the mask as I go. Now if we recall with this image, there was a whisker that stuck out here. And if I just paint in the general area, that's going to pop back in. So I can see that even on this one megapixel image, I've done a great job of selecting individual hairs. So let's click OK, and I see marching ants here. Now, just to show you what a great job this has done, let's hit Command-C to copy this, Command-N to create a new document that is the same shape, and Command-V to paste that in. I'm going to take my zoom tool, and we're going to zoom in and you can see, sure enough, individual strands of hair from a one megapixel image. So that combination of quick select and refine edge is a really fast and powerful way to isolate even difficult selections.